Hello and welcome to Power Shift Series 2 with Europa Universalis 4. Now, I have ditched the 21st century for the, well, 1400s, I believe. I am playing Europa Universalis without all the without the extended timelines mod, and instead I've got, there are a few mods installed, but they're not really that big. Uh, the biggest one is Unknocked Wasteland, so all the places that were like Wasteland before can now be colonised. Um... Now, the point is, my, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to play a really small country. And that's going to be how power shift's gonna, the new power shift is going to work. I'm going to have to become an empire. Now, I preferably would like to play in Europe. I'll pick a country in Europe, but I'm... Right, the, the American tribes are okay. Because if you're one of these, like, you can just invade a lot. And they're really easy. But the problem is, you have a negative tech, like, uh, bound. You have, like, negative, not negative tech, um... You can't tech up as quickly as the European as the European countries. It's the same for the Africans. It's the same for the Asian countries. But um, these ones have the worst. So you may be Aztecs and you may take all of South and North America to yourself. But the problem is when you may only just get spearmen. Someone like Castile or England or France have now got a musketman and they've invaded everything you have. Well, but then again. The problem is with Europe is lots of big countries has four big powers. You've got England, which well, is currently at the end of the Hundred Years' War of France. As you can see, France has been badly beaten up. But France bounces back really quickly because Britain starts to... England, sorry, starts to have a load of rebellions. Once the rebellions are sorted, they sort of ignore France for a while. They lose all their territories they have here, like Normandy and all that. And they head north and invade either Scotland or Ireland. And then they become Great Britain once they have both of them. Castile usually takes Grenada and then destroys Argon. Argon usually annexes Nepal. Nepal becomes Sicily, I think. Let's just quickly check that. Uh, oh, okay, apparently not. Spain apparently takes them in this reality. I didn't know that. So, Spain has them, and then Austria takes them. Okay, this is... And then they get independence again. Well, that's an interesting one. Um, also, another thing about 1440, 1444 is the Ottomans rise, which is what the name of this era is. And the Byzantines, which are at their end, usually... Well, they're dying out, basically. And Ottomans usually destroys them quite quickly. I've never played a game as Byzantine and survived past the 15s. Um, the thing about Castile is, and Portugal is that they're very heavy on colonization. They don't have a lot of wars. Portugal tends to take Brazil and Castile tends to take Mexico by invading the tribals there. Right. This game is usually historically accurate. If you play a tiny little island that's like, like uh, how about Cyprus? And you have no interaction with the rest of the world. The world will just go as normal. There will be just, all the battles will happen at the right years. All the leaders will be right. But it's when you play someone big like Sweden and you start invading, you start invading into the Holy Roman Empire. By the way, Holy Roman Empire up here. You also got to deal with religion, which is always the worst one. <laughs> I hate dealing with religion in this game. Um. But, uh, or you can play as England, and instead of invading Ireland and Scotland, you invade France. You finish them off, you focus everything you have. And I have played a game where I took out, I invaded Burgundy and Orleans and Provence and that word, and France. And I had all of this. And then I eventually, in that game, invaded Castile and Portugal. And, well, Argon had already been invaded. Um, what's another interesting one? Uh, Norway. I've once played a game as Norway and invaded all the way south and stopped Russia, which is Muscovy, I believe. Uh, Muscovy, once they take, they can take all of this and become Russia very early on in the game. Uh, let's have a look. If we go to Revolution France, there you go. They might wonder why haven't they taken this top bit? That's because this used to be wasteland, and wasteland is usually areas that are uncolonizable. So this bit probably was a wasteland, like over here. Where Denmark owned this. Oh, in this reality, Denmark has annexed Norway. Um, what else do I say? What is there anything else I need to mention? Yeah, like I was saying though, a good example of how you can mess up history as playing one of the big nations is I was playing as Portugal once. I got an alliance with Navarra, and um, Argon was in alliance with Navarra. Argon goes to war with Castile, Navarra goes to war with Castile, calls me to war. Me and Argon invade most of Castile. In fact, completely. They lot they annexed out of the game. They got destroyed. 
Then it came to the point where France and Britain were in horrible war, but I was having wars with Austria and Morocco. I was in alliance with France. France helped me out, so I provided war, but, uh, war subsidies to France. The war subsidies actually helped them fund their army, and they invaded the entirety of the Great British Isles. That was an interesting game. Um, what's another one? Uh, I think that's pretty much. Those are the biggest ones. I've, oh, Nepal's. That was a good one. I am. Um, I didn't do anything big with Nepal's. I did invade all of this and destroyed the the Papal State had gone because of me, and I made Italy. I became Italy because you can do that. Like you can make countries. Much earlier, like Finland, which isn't appear for a very long time, you can release Finland in the 1445 if you wanted to. I'm nothing against it. But there's actually been a game, and there's a country which I've seen in pretty much all the games I've played that usually survives quite a long time, and it is this little nation here, Brittany. So I'm going to play as Brittany, and we're going to play. Now I'm going to quickly just tell you some stuff and then we're actually going to start the real game. Now this is the actual game. The, the power shift before was a mod and it didn't I didn't I didn't like it cuz it didn't do any justice for this brilliant game cuz it is fantastic. Um but yeah, I'm going to show you sort of the basics how to play and we're probably going to have a war of province. I've just realized that there, there's a nation there. Now France has a gigantic army. Uh England doesn't have much of a presence here, which is why they lose Normandy very quickly. In fact, I bet we could probably take that if we could. No, because we only have an army of five. I always forget that. Province has an army of two, so we need to build up our army pretty quickly. Okay, now, these little flags here give you sort of an indication of what you need to do. So you need to buy advisors and you can get... And if you want to be political, all these lists are countries that have low prestige and a weak heir. And if you royal marriage them and then eventually take the throne, you can... Um, I think it's a union. So if it, they're smaller than you, it's a vassalization. If it's bigger than you, it's a union. And you can eventually take them through diplomacy. Of course, you can just have war with them, which is what I like doing. Or you can be like Castile and not go to war with anyone and just go straight for colonization. What I tend to do with Castile is, though, I tend to just, instead of going for America, I usually invade Portugal to stop them going for America. And then I go south into Africa. I've once had a game where I played it as Spain. Or Castile, but it becomes Spain later on when you invade Argonne. And um, the entire African continent was mine because I have the Wasteland Unlock mod. I will put all the mods I have in the description. So, anyway, I think our priority is to invade Provence, but I think they're in alliance with Beckin. Ah, they're in a union with Lorraine. Oh, where's Lorraine? That might be useful for us. Lorraine, right. Oh my god, what? what? Why is the Papal State owning a random little pro- Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, it was Lorraine, wasn't it? That's, um, to play with C. Right. La Lane. There we are. You. Are you part of the Holy Roman Empire? That's my problem. You are. That could be bad, because if we get really bad diplomacy with the Holy Roman Empire, they may declare war on me. And that's really bad, because there's a lot of them. There's a hell of a lot of them. Um... What's we what's our goal of this game? I don't really want to do the colonization game. I want to do the invasion game, and I probably will invade. I would like to invade the British Isles, but oh no, let's not invade the British Isles. How about we should play the colonization game? Actually, a clever thing to do would maybe is to head up north, invade um Iceland. I think it's called. Hope or maybe to, and take some of provinces from Norway. Deal with Sweden if we get a big enough army. And maybe head over to Canada, which is about here. Or, you go south into uh, Africa. No, 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 don't go to Africa. Um, Canada might be good. Canada's probably a really good idea, actually. Because then we can get over to Asia and get a province in Asia. Then we're pretty much... Ooh. Now I'm thinking, this is not a bad idea. So our war goal will be Norway. We will focus on taking Norway out. Always so. Uh, Norway owns these islands, but usually they get invaded by Scotland. I've noticed that a lot in games. Well, yeah. Province is invaded by France. We're going to have to have a war with France at some point, And most likely we will lose it. Hopefully we won't lose everything, though. By then I really hope we have, like, a... Oh, we could take Munster if they're not diplomacy with... Um, no, they're happy with us, actually. That's another thing, we should probably get an alliance with someone big. Ooh, Austria is currently happy with us. If 
we improve relations with Austria and Castile and get an alliance with them. Also, we should probably set our rivals, and rivals would be France. That's got to be a definite. Provence, and... Hmm. Should I set Norway as my rival yet? No, not yet. Uh, we could set England as our rival, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to set um, this guy, because they're quite big, and I don't really have anything else. Right, we need a mission. Now, missions give you rewards. Duh. Um, <laughs> that sounds really stupid, but they're usually quite hard. Right. Maine is a Breton claim. Oh, we could do that. Oh, there we go. we got to get Austria. I am currently working with Austria, aren't I? Yes, I am. Uh, improve our prestige. No, we're not going to have to do that. Right, we're going to be friends of Austria, because that would be quite a good thing to do. Um, got by a general. Uh, right, one of these navies is going to be um, your transport. I'm just going to delete you, because I don't have a use for you right now. I don't really want to be spending more money than I have to. Uh, you're going to be our trade, though, so you go around. And you're already in places, so that's good. Um, mm, none of these are quite good to us right now. It is good to have one in place, but ah, that might be a good one. We are going to start losing gold soon, though, if we're not careful. National manpower, that would be good, because we can get an army going. We also have now got no gold. I'm going to put the tax army taxes down. But we are going to be in a gold turn. Hmm. Right, um. Oh, they're going to go into Orleans. They're invading already. We need to get 10 or 11 or 12. So let's get, um. Three. Oh, we don't have enough gold either. And we're losing gold, so we're not going to make a lot. Right, um. I'm going to keep him funded so we can get deal with pirates de destroying the trade. Because if our trade goes, then we're going to lose a lot of gold. Um, I'm not going to be able to buy that right now. Not without losing gold, which is not what I want to do. Um, I might get some loans. But the problem is loans increase inflation, which increase costs of stuff. Which is meh. We're going to have to do it, though. And um, we'll take about... Shit, that's losing me a lot of gold. Oops, sorry. It's part of my language. Right, um, 40. You're going to have to deal with that. We're going to start actually losing gold anyway when I build the army. 1, 2, 3, 4. Right. Dispute succession. So, um, uh, sorry. Arnold is rivaling Saxony, even though it's part of Saxony. I don't know how that happened actually. Bohemia. Um, so you're like a mix between two nations. How's that happened? Sure, why not? You're in alliance with. I don't understand why you've declared. Whatever. Um, don't know why it's a problem with me. Do I need to worry about any of these? Austria is a disputed claim. So we could probably pick off a royal marriage of Austria. Economic actions, no, dynasty actions. We need to have a diplomat. Let's improve relations with them. In fact, I'm going to pull you back. Uh, it's working in Wien. That's Austria, you idiot. Oh, that's their capital. Um, Wien is their capital, I believe. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Yeah, there we go. It's their capital. I like how I got this uh, DRC which adds like little landmarks. And things like in France, I think you can see windmills somewhere. And oh, look, there's an Notre Dame. And in England, I think you can see the yeah Stonehenge and yeah the Tower of London. That's quite cool. Um, interestingly, though, in Austria, Australia, there's Red Rock, which is really weird because you can't usually because it's in the part of Austria which is wasteland, so you pretty much won't you can't see it anyway. You can with the um wasteland, and there's also um polar bears. Up in Iceland, is it? Or is it Greenland? I like how it's poly they, they really do a lot of detail. Like, it's weird. Like, certain, like, regions have, like, um, bonuses. So, like, Iceland's Arctic, which means there's a lot of bad stuff. Bad stuff. That's what it means. Um, right. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think we should just let the game run and in bits fast speed. 
Oh, there we go. That's a taste of the French army. They have a lot more now. I know they have something like 40 at the start of the game. There's a way to look at you. I can't remember how it was. Um, I don't have... Look, is it menu? No, that's that's menu. Ledger. Ah, yes it is. Um, military. Where's France? Down to F. France, 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 France. F, 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 F. Ah, there it is. And they have a hell of a lot of infantry. Oh, shit, I've just lost that. Um, oh, it doesn't matter. Well, they have a lot. They have a lot more than we do. Okay. Alliances. Wait, what? This is not. Bugger off. I want to look at mine. <laughs> Creative vassals. No, we can't. Um, right, let's put this in full speed and see what happens. France is going to declare war on us soon. We want to get war with these. Not right. You, head there. Shit. You're not in alliance with France, are you? I don't think you are. You're, you have a truce with Argon, and you're at war with England, so we could, I think we could declare war on you. We are losing gods, so I'm going to throw the army taxes up to max, get morale back. France is going to destroy the navy, I've just remembered that. I'll probably pull them back before war. Come on. Right, there we go. Hello. You come. To, you can come and join us. Your leader, which is absolutely God shite. Um, I think province is going to have most of their army wiped out by England. Let's just quickly look. Um, Lorraine. Oh no, Lorraine's there. But where's Lorraine? Something like we could get an alliance with um, Castile, weren't we? That's what we were doing. Oh shit! I forgot to do this. Royal marriage with you. Yeah. And when he gets back, improve relations. By the way, that's what I'm talking about there. I got a loan. That's fine. Right, there we go. Get an alliance growing with Austria. Austria. Yeah, Austria. I said that right. Um, Austria becomes really big. They eventually invade Burgundy. And also, they help you out of a hell of a lot of wars. But the problem is, they call you to a lot of wars. Savoy is a big one for wars, though. Like, the amount of times I've allied with Savoy and then been destroyed because I've been in a war with them. Usually, it's when I'm playing as a country like... I think mean that happened when I was playing as um, one of these countries. My plan was to invade Nepal and all that. That was when I didn't realise Nepal in a union of Argon, which instantly caused Argon to war, and Argon is a... Bleh. Um Oh, shit. No, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Um, do we have a claim on them? Ow. Let's pull my headset out, mate. There we go. Right, I think we should start fabricating a claim. I don't think we can. Um... You don't want... You want a royal marriage. So let's do that. As soon as possible. Oh, it's on pause. And also, are you up for an alliance yet? No. Um, what's it, what didn't you like? They neutral to Brittany, which is bad. Oh, no. They, they will accept the alliance now. On the 11th of whatever it says. September. Right, alliance. Yo. Oh, what, what's your problem? Oh, you want the lights as well. Right, we got everything we need. Yeah, look at that. Now, Austria is also the emperor of the Holy Roman Empire, which means if a country that i am got a negative with gets r and Austria gets really, really peed off with them, um, well, there's going to be a lot of friction. I'm also going to get an alliance wrong with Poland, because you should get um. A union with Lithuania, which is quite powerful when you're fighting a Holy Roman Empire uh, country. Like, I always tend to have wars with one of these countries that I can never get to because, like, a hundred countries which require you military access. And usually Poland goes in there and does it. I once had to fight um, Novograd, and I and Lithuania got. I think Lithuania got broken out of a union because of it. And because we lost. Well, I didn't lose. I didn't lose anything from it. Um, right. Can we? Do we have a cause of Bel Air? No, we don't, which means a lot of badness for us. Right, we're going to fabricate a claim. That's all we can do. Covert options. Uh, and joy. Now, usually I do lose. Um, 
How long is that going to take? Oh, it's going to take a while. Oh, hold on. Burgundy's become Papo Control. That's going to stop Austria from being so invaded with them, then. That's bad. Probably didn't want that. Uh, Castile's going to have wars with Argon soon, which is also bad. Um, oh, England's got their... Oh, that's not England. But that's England. So England's losing their stuff down here because most likely they're having the War of the Roses or Rebellion and all that. Why are you angry with us? I like to arrive at was at war. Oh. Oh, crap. We were at war with these two? Why were we at war with both of them? Yeah, whatever. Hmm. There's nothing really stopping France from... Oh, God. Oh, I thought that said we were a vessel then. That would have been even worse. And we're taking out claims left, right, centre. Oh, oh, we also got our... We completed our challenge. Um, Maine. Are we fabricating a claim on... We're claiming it on Andrew. That's bad, but... It'll do. Right. Uh, can we do anything else? No, not really. Let's get a couple of more units rolling out. Yep. We'll see. We are going to have massive inflation. But to be honest... I'm gonna deal with it. We also don't have enough for another na na la la. We have enough for another cavalry. Cavalry. Also, massive god. I think also affects our tech. Oh, and there's tech, by the way. Uh, you get ideas and ideas. Um, it's how you get things like colonization and all that. So, all these do certain stuff. So, religion is if you're really religious and you're gonna use religion as your weapon, or you can go for colonization and just not have a war. Um. We're going to have to go for economic ideas straight away because that improves our economy a lot. A hell of a lot. It also gives us discounts on a lot of things like buildings and cores and that. Um, we're going to have to spend a lot of diplomacy on getting these two converted. I really wish I'd made a main my... Wait, what? Why aren't you... Where's your capital province? Oh, do you have no city? Oh, <gasps> shit, you do. You have actual... You got uh, You got your province province. Sure, why not? We are going to have to take these two there and... Shite, we're going to have to go for France. That's not going to be a good thing to do. They're not even going to give military access, so we're going to have to just take these two and end the war. Um, there's a good chance that they're not going to do it. Also, we can, like, invest in the Pope, but... We're not going to get a lot, so I'm not going to really do that until I, like... As long as I'm friendly with the um, Papal State, I think we'll be fine. In fact, I'm actually going to... If I get into a diplomat, which I should... After I've finished... Um, mm, let's keep Austria friendly with us. Uh, if we lose Castile as an ally, I'm... I'm a little bit more accepting, because Austria's really scary to France. Because they will invade Burgundy, that's just something that happens. It just happens, whether you change history or not. Castile's really not worry, but they are very defensive. But the big thing is they're very close to France. Well, they will be when they've taken out Argon. Uh, another one I usually get allied with is... Oh. <gasps> Could we actually pull an alliance with the... Oh, I don't know why not. Shit, an alliance with Ottomans. That might be really, really interesting to do. We're going to try that. We're going to attempt that. Most likely they won't do it because we don't like them. But... The Ottomans are really powerful. They have a massive army for such a small country. But I, well, I say small. They have owned. They do own a lot. They're much bigger than any other nation in Europe, apart from Lithuania and Hungary. But they're really poor. They don't have much of resources in their way. They have. Uh, Austria is really rich because they have gold, gold, and iron. Very large minerals. But this has things like wheat and grapes and that. Gold produces massive amounts of money. Absolute crap tons, but the biggest problem is it increases your, um, it increases fucking, what's it called? Oh, the, oh, hold on a second. Inflation, it makes inflation go up by shed loads to the point where you are really losing a lot of gold. You're, like, you're paying a lot more than you should be. And, um, it is good initially to get an army. It's good to get a big army. Like, look at Austria's army, that's about... Uh, I think this represents a thousand. Yeah, so each number is a thousand. That's three thousand, that's five thousand, that's two thousand, that's two thousand. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten thousand troops. Wait a second. Two, four, six, seven. Oh, sorry. I'm <laughs> Maths. No. Right, we'll take one away from them. That's six. 
8, 10, 12. They have 12. Uh, I think we could probably... Could we claim a throne? No. But I don't think they have a weak area anymore. We must have more prestige as well. And we don't. Oh, we only have 9. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, is there any better advisors here? No, we can't afford them anyway. This is... We don't have any revolt though. We will when we take province though. Oh shit, I should have thought about that. Um oh, it's too late now, I can't I can't get in. Oh. Oh apparently Portugal has designed. Oh that's right, I always invade them. <laughs> I'm like, I don't remember that happening. It's because I always invade Portugal's Castile. I don't think I've ever played a game where I've not invaded them. Um I tried to play as Argon once. I failed at that, because France invaded me in that though. Which yes was a I did actually declare war on them, to be fair. I was trying to take, um... I think I declared war on England. I was supposed to declare war on England, but I declared war on France as well. I don't know how that really happened, actually. <laughs> um... Hmm. You improve in relations. Let's do that. Let's actually try and get the lights rolling with these lot. Um... Because we get an alliance with the Ottomans. Actually, if I do that, though, we are good. These guys are going to be really, really pissed at us. I'm pretty sure they're in a dislike. Oh, they, oh, they haven't. Ri <gasps> they haven't rivaled a Muslim country. That's weird. Oh, and by the way, uh, Cas the Catholics hate the Sunni, which are basically the um, basically Muslims. I think Sunni. I can't pronounce that. Hmm. Oh, army's done. Ding. Um, how's fabrication going? Uh. Back in a second. Okay, I'm back. Right, uh, where were we? We were, uh, doing this. Sorry, I got into some science. Um, I'm just thinking about what our tactics are going to be. I think it would be a good idea to take main and because they're not allied with France. They're allied with Venice and Switzerland. Switzerland is there, and Venice is big, but they're not going to be much of a threat. I, I, highly, I highly doubt them get. <gasps> but oh my god, we're in an alliance with. Oh shit! We're in an alliance with Austria. They're not going to be able to fight us. They're going to be fighting Austria. If I call willing allies. Oh my god, I've just made it. I think I've actually made this better for myself. Uh, call willing allies. I think we may be seeing. Every country that. Why is it Austria? Okay, right, we're doing this then. Get up there. Shit, I hope I haven't lost this. Right, you get over there. Why is Corfu... Oh my god. Corfu's there. They're not a threat. Provence is the one we're at war with. Lorraine. Where's Lorraine? Oh, they're not going to be a threat either. Switzerland, on the other hand, maybe. And so will um, Venice. But Venice may not come north. Please, Austria, why didn't you join us? You, uh, why? Causing our two towards Brittany. Fine. Fighting in another war. Oh, shit, they're fighting in another war. Austrian manpower minus war exhaustion. Right, we're doing this. Um, Halve the army. Go there. If we see anything we don't like, we call it out. Not really sure I was going with that. All these is a f all in the where that it's called is in alliance with France. Um, we're not going to be able to go down to this pro actual Provence. We're going to have to stay up here. I can't. <laughs> Please give us military access. Why wouldn't you give us military? French opinion of Brittany. Bad. Right, Ottomans. How's it going with you? Not bad. Alliance, motive. Brittany is at war. Oh, yeah, of course. We'll finish that up soon. Genoa, my king, Switzerland's enemy is with our enemy, Genoa. We've taken the loan out, this can be done automatically. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, shit, no maintenance. We're not at war with France, that's a bit weird. Like, I'm usually at war with France at this point and die and lose horribly. Uh, we've got another loan taken out because we are losing a lot of gold. Um, we can raise the war taxes. That wouldn't be a bad thing to do. And juice relation. Right, if we do that, oh, that would be a good thing to do. Because then we get a bit of taking that alone. 
We're going to start getting a lot of inflation, but not a lot. See, inflation's dropped then, so we're not going to be taking out. Oh, Venice is there. Oh, shit, Venice just entered the picture. Yeah, get in there. Won. We won. Okay, you get in there. And Venice's army has been destroyed. Woo! I'm pretty sure Austria might be willing to join us, because we've just taken out an ally. Oh, maybe not. Oh, we are. No, it's not a lot. What's the biggest... We started the war. Oh, okay, so like that. We started the war with six days ago, so it's been too late. Uh, loan is due. We're not going to be able to repay that. Um... But we are going to be able to repay it by get, taking out another Joan. Joan? Um, loan. See, uh, uh, Athens is vassalized by... Uh, well, there you go. You can see that they're being sieged. That's um, the Ottomans. Yeah. The Byzantine are going to go. Unless the Byzantine got... Oh, no. Uh, usually the Byzantine invades Cyprus. Didn't go so well for them. We need to get a better opinion with them. Britain needs to get a better opinion of them. I don't know how we can do that. We can, um... They need to do something for us. That's the problem. They, they need to, like... They need to improve relations with us. They need to, um... Give us a loan. I don't know what, but... They need to do something with us to make it so that... We like them. Because they like us. But we don't like them. I like them. Because they're big and powerful, and they will do a hell of a lot of scary. Like they'll give us, they'll be. They're a very scary name. If you if you're going to war with the Ottomans, you need to prepare your ass for. Ooh, Portugal's. Oh no, no, sorry, never mind. I thought Portugal had those two. I thought Morocco was actually winning a war. I once played a game where Morocco, which is an African country, so they should not be winning against the Europeans. They invaded most of Portugal. In fact, I think they took this. Hold on. No. Uh, Algrave, Ali, Teach, I can't pronounce it. The, this one, this one, and this one was Moroccan, which was very interesting because Castile, I think, I think Castile actually invaded Portugal after that because they were just too weak. And I think England invaded their islands. Put, like, they got completely destroyed. That's Castilian, by the way. Um, The Canary Isles. I uh, can't do anything with that. Stop bothering me about that. Uh, you have claims on provinces. Yeah, I know, but we're going to take it soon. Well, it doesn't appear to be anyone doing anything to fight us. Oh, Nexus, where are you? Oh, yeah, they're not. They're not going to do a lot. Hmm. If I could get a bloody deal. Problem is, I got rid of the two ships, so I can't get down to um, bloody Castile either. Ugh. They wouldn't have done, they would have joined us, I think they were out of war already. They're not anymore. I think Austria's out of war. Uh, no, you're still out of war. You're fighting, um, Bohemia. Bohemia, is that how you pronounce it? Yeah. Let them come to us. Morale the armies. Oh, morale probably would be a good one. Yeah, we're not lost any units, so morale is probably a good one to have. Um... Is there anything we can do with, like, the, um, crowd? Can we, like, change governments? I always want to go for, um, this one. Better tax. But I think we need, like, uh, we need finance, which is 12. Tech 12. When we're on 4. Oh, wow. Um, we can't. We need 500 administration. But we're going to lose all that. Coring, Andrew, and Maine. We could. No, no. I'm thinking maybe we could. Russia. Oh, Austria's to colonist war. Against Burgundy and Bohemia and Sicilina. Yeah, we'll accept. We're not going to do anything, but we'll accept. As long as they don't come over to us. Oh, shit, they're going to come to us. Don't come to us, please. Please keep an eye out on them. Turn the speed down. Right, Provence is there. Most likely Provence has gotten involved. Why has... We've lost our alliance with Castile, haven't we? Yes, we have. That's bad. That's really, really bad. Sorry, I'm whispering. They're not... No, they haven't declared as a rival. Right, we're fine with that. Um, 
Right, don't panic. We'll just have to be quiet a little bit. Oh, I hate to get plenty... Right, improve relations with France so we can get a military access with them. Basically, um, we can't just walk over someone's territory. That's not how it works. We need to ask for military access. Ah, we're taking Andrew. So you head north and take help with Maine, which is our quest. The quest for Maine. Uh, boost stability up. Uh, I'm just deleting stuff I don't need. Uh, most likely we just wait for this one to play itself out, the one between Burgundy and Castile, because most likely Austria is, this is the war that Austria takes Burgundy. Actually, you can't take a country in one war. I, I can with this one because they're very small. I don't think I can, actually. No, I mean, I most likely won't be able to do this, but, um, I don't think Castile's going to touch us. I really don't think so. They'll probably take out my navy, but I don't think they're going to touch us. Burgundy might be a bit of a threat. France is going to take Normandy, as usual. That's going to happen soon because they're winning the war. They're going to try and take some shots at Britain and then fail ultimately. And then, oh, oh, I bet Austria's got loads of allies with us. Yeah, no, I didn't. They're going to touch us. We've got too many friends around us. Poland's on our side, which is pretty big. Yeah, look at that. We can see what's going on up there, and there is a massive convergence of armies heading for Burgundy. No, no, heading for us because they know we're not going to be a threat. Burgundy knows we're fighting our own war. The AI is clever enough to realise that, so they're not going to attack us. Because we're not going to attack them. Unless France gives us military access. Which is what's going to probably worry them the most. Hmm. They're willing to trust us, but... They're not going to trust us enough. Uh, we need to, I really need them to do something. We can't royal marriage them, because... Hmm. Could form a coalition against them. Well, that'd be quite interesting to do. <laughs> coalition against France. Yeah, that would really go well for us. Oh, man's end. I like how there's a Dingle Bay. There it is, Dingle Bay. <laughs> um, yeah. Sorry. Oh shit! How are we losing? Provence. We haven't lost a battle to them. Oh my! I think they're fighting on their side, aren't they? They're not. What's going on with them? Okay, um, Switzerland, let's try and call you out of the war. I think the Ottomans are a lost cause. I think they're going to be less likely to be at war with us. Oh, shit. Castile's attacking. Um, right, let's try and get out of this war. Because this is bad. This is really, really bad. Ah, oh, balls. You get down south. Head up north. Right, uh, when he gets back, we need to we need to get out of war with Castile. <sighs> concede defeat, please. No, offer tribute, sorry. Concede defeat, um, what do you want? You're gonna... Okay, um, right, what we're gonna do is... Oh my god, I've just destroyed the country. Um, right, uh, that means... Off a tribute. How's that not enough? Do I have to cancel that feckin'? Fine. Please, go, don't go to war with us, thank you. Oh, feckin' Venice! Oh my god, Venice! No, actually, I don't mind losing my battle with Austria because... No, separate piece. Yeah, I'm sorry. We had to get out of there. Can't, we couldn't fight Castile. <sighs> I think we're going to have to either pick between... Either, are we going to be allies with Austria or Castile? Because Austria is going to be powerful, but they're not yet. I think we're going to keep... I'm not going to ally with Austria. I'm going to keep on good relations with them. When it comes to Castile, though, I'm going to ally with them. Because they will help out with France. Crap, it may be a good idea to get an alliance with England because they're not going to have any ties with either Austria. When it gets to the point where we can, if we can get an alliance with Ottomans, that'll be quite cool because they're really scary, like I keep saying. Because now I'm panicking, we may not have any defense against France. We'll take Maine, we'll invade Maine, and then we'll deal with Venice down by law. Oh, why is Laura our capital? 
We should make Finster error, whatever it's called. That's really silly, because if France takes that, they're going to take it easily. And if we lose our capital, I think we get, like, a big morale drop. Oh, by the way, the capital's the one with the little crown on it. Where's Paris? Now oh, there it is. Taking out a loan. Yes, I know we're taking out a loan. We need to sort out the economy. I think the best way to do that is to get rid of someone. Goodbye. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. Well, I know. Really small countries. I'm not good at keeping the economy good. We need to get um diplomacy quickly. But oh, we've lost our administration power. Right. We're just going to let them. Right. We'll just let them take Maine. And, yeah, we keep taking out loans. Once we get a good economy, we're going to have to start getting rid of these loans. Right. We can take the Venice army out easily. we just got to deal with these lot. we just got to take Maine. Because if we leave it, oh, there come fucking their back. Come on. Can we take Maine? We need to take Maine quickly. They're not going to take Laura, not easily. And they're not going to take Maine back, not for a while. Once we got main, we were winning. They know if they lose main. Come on. Stop getting things that don't increase the percent chance. Water shortage isn't doing anything for us. Come on. Yes, Siege of Main is over. Get down south now. Right, get there. Deal with fucking Provence. Provence? Yes, we won the war. Get over to Loa now. Come on! Deal with the Venetian army. Okay, stop panicking. We're going to win. Okay, regain your morale. Then we'll go back after them. Never mind. Go after them now. And you've already got your morale back. They're not going to be any fight. We've won this. Oh, stop running away. Please. Yes, right. Oh, my God, right. Can we please, please have military access? Why? Oh, we're not going to be able to get down to them. I have no alliances. I have nothing. I need to have these provinces. Okay, um, if we can pull out, get Venice out of the war. That'd be cool. Come on, you've got to want to leave. Okay, uh, concede defeat. Don't you want that? No, you don't want that. Right, Venice is in the war. We're good. Switzerland hasn't fought us at all. Provence, come on. You just want to get this over with, don't you? We want Maine. Uh. Right, we're not going to be able to do this. We're going to call this White Peace because I can't do anything about it. No, young dude, France is being a douchebag. I won't give us military access. We can't get down to the actual Provence and take their capital. Which is bad. And also, that war with fucking Austria. Why was Castile on Burgundy's side? When did that. That's the first time I've ever seen Austria go, uh, Castile go to bloody alliance with Burgundy. They always go with France. Hmm. Right. Like I said, we're focused on getting Castile on our side. I'm going to focus on getting England on our side. It's going to take a hell of a lot, but we're going to do it. I'm also going to cancel... No, I'm not going to cancel that. The reward is 5 prestige and 25 military power. Oh, this is really bad. This has gone really, really bad. Um, We need to get our fucking economy sorted now. We've also lost our fucking navy. That's bad. Oh, no. Right, we gotta get rid of you. Go away. You annoying little man. Oh, uh, come on. We need to sort out the economy. We got a lot of rivals. Diplomacy. We're gonna have to focus on our diplomacy for now. We're gonna get diplomacy sorted. Improve relations with them. 
They hate France, they're at war with them actually. Yeah, yeah, sure, why not? Mm hmm. Right, okay, um, what we're gonna do, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh god, this has gone really stressful. <laughs> I'm actually calling an episode here and join you next week because I don't know what to do, I need to think about this. How many provinces are there in Norway? Norway's ally with us, so that's the problem. Who have we got our feckin'. Oh yeah, them, them, and them. I think France is our. This isn't helpful for me. Where's my diplomacy? Okay, so France is our. Bloody. Probably didn't help that France is our rival. Remove. France is not our rival anymore. We're going to have to make someone else our rival, and our rival is going to be Burgundy. It's not really. Okay, we're doing this now. We're going to make bloody Norway our rival. Oh my god, I keep picking on the province. Cause it's bloody annoying. My country, right. Norway, welcome to my list of rivals. Okay. Oh. Milan. Milan's taking Venice out. That'd be good. I could have probably killed off one of their deals. No. Then they, we would have had something bad or something happen to us. I don't know. Um. Why do you hate us so bad? I don't understand that. Oh, never mind. They're now going to alliance with us. Whatever. Sure. Ottomans like us, but we hate you. Can't do anything about that. France, you hate us a lot. England, you like us a lot. Are you willing to? What the hell's this view? Oh, it's because I've got the building menu opened. If Rance takes main and then Jewel was screwed, we're not going to get that. Why do they not? Oh my god. Hmm. Navy. But I can't afford it. The economy's crap. We have to reduce inflation. Very cool. Uh, let's get an alliance rolling with them. Actually, let's get a royal marriage first, because then we'll get an alliance. Where's alliance? There it is. And when they get back, 22nd of May. I'm going to have to wait until the 22nd of May, people. Hope you enjoy this. Oh, wait, no. Why do we... Oh my god, I hate my people. Well, at least England is not going to be... A Frat going war with us for a while. Oh, Orleans well, take lots of countries and when that's their capital. Castile, come on, don't be douchebags. You're ally with me. Um, you're at war. New distance between borders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know what to do. Right. We have to call war again. I think it's probably gonna be a good thing to do. Right, reduce inflation again. And then we might have to disband the army because I just can't get the economy right. What? Argo and Navarra. I can't help you because Francis is not helping me at all. I might just declare war on them to get through their territory. I, I can't do anything else. What? Yeah, nothing's going to happen. Oh, Navarra's allies with Argon. That's bad.
Why is it not going to take a grenade? Grenade is the guy's war in Morocco, apparently. You haven't been vassalized, have you? No. This is weird. Why is Grenada still alive? Okay, whatever. Um. Okay, this is good. Fucking Venice hasn't joined in the war. It must be because they haven't got the ability to kill them. We don't have. We lost because I didn't put the tax up. What do you mean bankruptcy? Oh my god. You've reached maximum number of allowed loans. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's fine. It'll be fine. Right, kill them. Oh my god, this game's gone bad. Okay. This game is lost. Am I, are they fighting France? They are. Hmm. Okay. No, okay. Um This game has been lost. So not next week, next week is Civ. So the week after we'll come back and we'll play Brittany again and I will win this time. Uh I've never played Brittany before, so this is the first time, so you have to um so I know how that goes now. I know what happens. I know what happens for Brittany around that. We will go to war. With, we'll get Maine instead of Andrew this time. Or whatever, if the mission is still there. We will... Mm, we'll, we will have Austria as our ally. But we'll make sure they're not at war when we go to war with Venice. And if if um, province goes to ally with Venice again. But this has been the first series of power. This has been the first episode of... Power Shift 2. I'm going to release this one episode sort of like a welcome. But thank you for watching. Goodbye.